Good afternoon, Faith Warriors. Um, Faith Warrior Project checking in with you. Um, this is going to be a very, very important video. Um, the Lord Jesus Christ, he came to me last night in a dream. Um, yeah, he showed me a rapture dream. And, um, oh my goodness, I had never seen nothing like this in my life. Um, this dream, man, I'm just going to jump right into the dream. Um, pretty much the gist of it is God showed me what would happen if you have sin in your life um, at the time of the rapture. Um, and he used me in his, as an example. Um, if you have sin in your life, you will not make the rapture. So the dream was this. This is the dream. I was walking in the valley. I was walking in the valley um, in this dream. Grass and it was mountains all the way around. It was a very, very cloudy day, but I was walking in the valley and then all of a sudden the mountains started to shake. The mountains were starting to shake and they was inflamed with fire, but the mountain was starting to shake. And I remember in the Bible where it says the mountains tremble at the sight of, of the Lord and the mountains were shaking. And then I looked up in the sky and the clouds like moved out of the way. And there Jesus was in the sky with his hands stretched out. Um, if you've ever seen the picture of Rio de Janeiro, hopefully I said that right, how they have that statue of Jesus, how his arms are spread it out. Well, that's how it was. Jesus was in the sky in his white garment and it was glowing and his arms are stretched out. And a lot of people was going up to him. It was amazing. I never seen anything like that. That was amazing. A lot of people was going up to him. Everybody that was in Christ, like the scripture said, those that are in Christ is going to rise up to the meet them in the air where those, everybody that was going up into the air, they was going up in the air to meet Christ. And I noticed that I wasn't going up. I wasn't going up. So I started to run in the dream, right? And then I tried to get a jump and I tried to jump up in the air and hoping that I get caught up, but I didn't caught up and all around me, God was showing me like, this is what happened when somebody don't live for me. All these sins was weighing me down. It was sins weighing me down. All these different types of sins in a dream was wearing me down. I seen the sin of lust. I seen the sin of, of envy, adultery, fornication, unforgiveness, um, bitterness, uh, racism, um, hatred, um, homosexuality, um, um, uncleanness. Um, I seen all these different drunkness, liquor, all these things was pulling me down. And I kept trying to run, right? And try to jump up, hoping that Jesus would catch me up. But he did not do it. He did not catch me up. <laughs> I was just down there and it was rough. It was a rough one. Um, and I remember the scripture in the book of Hebrews where it says, lay aside the sin and wait that so easily beset us. The sin that's constantly tripping you up, lay it aside because you will not make the rapture. God was showing me. You won't make the rapture if you are living in sin. If you are living in any of these sins, you will not make the rapture. And when Jesus left in that dream, after he had gathered all of the righteous and he disappeared and was gone, I felt so much guiltiness and so much shame and so much emptiness and disappointment because I was counting on being in that rapture, but I missed it in that dream. I missed it. I share that with you because I don't want nobody to miss the rapture when Jesus comes back to gather his people. I don't want nobody to miss the rapture. I don't want you to. Because let me tell you, it was painful to see Jesus in that sky and not be able to go with him and to be with him forever. I was really wanting to be with him and I didn't need him cake me. This is serious. This is serious, faith warriors. This life that we are living right now, it's serious. 
It really is. We have to prepare our hearts for Jesus Christ. We have to prepare our hearts for him. When I woke up from that dream, I was laying in my bed so distraught. I thought the rapture was actually over. I actually thought it took place in real life. <laughs> I asked the Lord, if there's anything that's in me right now that is unlike you, please forgive me for my sins. Please, Lord God, if I have done anything wrong, please forgive me for my sins, my Lord. Please. I was crying out to the Lord this morning when I woke up, crying out to him, telling him, Lord, I don't want to be left behind. I want to participate in your rapture, in your event. Whenever it may happen, I want to be a part of it. And even at this very moment, <laughs> this has been a weird day for me because I'm like, God, I, I, I don't want to miss that time. I don't want to be in this life without you. I hope somebody been touched by this video today. Jesus is coming back soon. Those sins in that dream was pulling me down. I, I, had, I, I, I could not get away from them. I was trying to get up there with Jesus, but it wasn't happening. He, I wasn't going with him. I seen all those souls going to him. All everybody is going to him to meet him in the sky. The mountains was trembling at his presence, was trembling at the Lord's presence. He was so glorified and his arms was just stretched wide, wide open, receiving all of the believers unto himself. The true believers, those that truly follow him, he was receiving them unto himself, just like he said he would. And in a dream, I didn't make it. So that is an eye opener for me. And I hope it may be an eye opener for you as well. This life is nothing to play around with. It's nothing to play around with. We have to take it seriously or we will be left. Don't think that you can live in sin, willfully live in sin, willfully commit adultery, willfully get drink your liquor and get drunk, willfully flirt around and you got you know you got a husband at home or a wife at home, but you want to mess around and try to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend on the side. Don't think you can get to heaven living like that, having hatred in your heart. Having a revenge spirit, lusting, having envy in your heart, backbiting and slander. We have to let go of these things if you want to see God in peace. We have to ask Jesus for forgiveness and his blood will cleanse us from our sins. We have to confess our sins and be honest with the Lord so when he does come back, we will be ready. We cannot live this life on our own. We need the Lord. We need the Lord to make it. We need the Lord to win. To win, we need the Lord. Jesus is the best thing that you possibly can have in his life. And if you want to see him in peace, please ask God to forgive you of your sins. And when you ask God to forgive you of your sins, you have to turn from your sins and serve God. Don't ask God for forgiveness and still continue in your sins. That ain't true repentance. God said, the people which I call by my name, if they will humble themselves and seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then when I hear from heaven and then when I forgive sins, God is ready to forgive you when you really, really want to turn from your sins. Don't think that you're okay with the way that you're living if you're living in sin. Don't think that you're okay. You need a savior. I didn't make it in that dream. I didn't get raptured. I got left behind. And you don't have to be left behind. You don't have to be left behind. There's temptation all over this place trying to get you to to lose your hope in God to try to get you to sin and commit sin to commit violations against the Lord it's all kind of things in this world to distract you 
But I share with you this video that don't get left behind. Don't let sin wear you down. Jesus Christ loves you and he died for your sins. Come to him while you can. Please, please come to the Lord while you can. Please come to Jesus. Give up your sins. Give up your life. Don't be left behind because that pain and the shame alone will eat you up. It will eat you alive knowing that you had a chance to go with Jesus and you missed out. If now was the time for you to repent, repent. Repent of your sins. Believe on Jesus Christ as the scripture said. Please. 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 So when that day comes and when the trumpets blow and then when the Lord himself shall be in the air, you shall be able to meet him in the air and will be forever with the Lord. I don't want to miss him. I don't want to miss him. I don't want to miss the Lord. I don't want to miss him. I want to go to be with him. Forevermore I do. I long to see his face. I want to shake his hand and hug him and tell him thank you face to face. For forgiving me of my many sins that I committed in the past. I want to tell Jesus thank you. And I want to see him in peace. If you want to see Jesus in peace, ask God to forgive you. Come unto him. Submit yourself unto him. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Live a holy right life before the Lord. Resist the devil. Blessed is he that endure temptation for he shall receive the crown of life. Now is your time. The rapture is coming soon, faith warriors. I love y'all. Hopefully this bless somebody. Until next time, continue to reach higher and strive every single day to build a better you. Love y'all. Bye-bye.